awesome event. It's meant to highlight and feature like Posse Youth, which I think is um, a group that's not really featured often or you don't hear a lot of successful stories about them as well. So I think this is really an awesome event that's going to highlight and bring some positivity to the community. amazing so far. I think it's so cool. I wish I could get up from my seat, but I had to stay here. Um, but I love watching like all the energy. I love the blessing that went on earlier and just being able to kind of like set the intention and ground myself. Um, I love Mo and I love this space. So I'm just super honored to be here. Really grateful for everyone who put this event together, generating a space for us to really see ourselves reflected in different forms of art making uh, and just a space to reflect and and meet other people who, who have similar experiences as necessary, important, and just uh, grateful to be here. I think what they're doing is really great. Um, I'm starting to become an art therapist right now, so I think art is very healing, and I love that they're providing that um, healing for a lot of the youth there. I am Chloe Flores. I am the executive and artistic director from Home LA. Uh, so the We and Me started as a conversation between me and Mara and our personal desires to cultivate empathy and shift social awareness around homelessness and houselessness. And um, being both art practitioners, we understand the power of art and how art can successfully fill in gaps. It was with great pleasure to receive a proposal from Gabriel Gutierrez when uh, proposing to do a using the WMA platform to support foster youth and his vision was to create a system of support and community that existed outside of the foster youth system for foster youth artists, advocates and uh, entrepreneurs through art. Foster youth artist excellence coming up right now uh, and I have the pleasure of introducing Jacob. I'm here today because really, uh, Gabriel Gutierrez, the one who reached out to me, he actually gave me an opportunity once I right, so to actually um, showcase my own work and really to step into my own uh, art. Yeah. I didn't really know it at that time, but. To be honest, just when he invited me, like what, a year back again, once again, to be at this event and do my music and actually talk about some of the work that I, I provide to the community, you know, it just sparked my passion, my interest. And I feel like today I just want to be able to um, kind of tell my story a little bit. You know, sometimes, like, the best way to speak, to speak about yourself is like putting in a song or put in something that, you know, is visual. They scared to get your hand dirty, so I already step heavy, I step to the plate. But I had to get my feet ready, I'm ten toe down, always had to keep my reach steady. Hold on, always had to keep my reach steady. I have safe spaces like this, you feel me, I have just generally been able to put out creative, you feel me, more innovative work, I feel like it's beautiful. It always be a firm thing that I'm doing something good and I'm doing something right. You feel me? I might make an impact on somebody, even if it ain't with my music, but it they might take a role in something that really might make an impact on the world. So I just want to build out a leader. If this is a step to it, I will. Stated before, and this that hood gospel, black skin, and yeah, I'm real chocolate. Well done, I'm a real color. The marathon continue, you already know we had to get on our own. We still stuck in struggles, had to get on. kids in the spotlight. We are an immersive experience so we do a script to screen program which is like 10 to 15 weeks where we bring in youth from 18 to 24 and they have the opportunity to write their story and create a short script, a script that turns into a short film um, and then we have industry mentors that come together and then we produce the film. After they go through the program they have the opportunity to become paid professionals. Once they do the films then it's an opportunity for them to really establish and build, build their career. It's just me and you, Nova, until the end of time. 
I wouldn't want it any other way. Part of my personal mission is to make sure Boston Youth have a space, right? A space that's nuanced, a space that is really free, a space where we can express ourselves through dance, through uh, all of our artistic uh, creativity, right? So for me, today is really about celebrating more Boston Youth voices, making sure that the next generation of Boston Youth have people to look up to. In street dance culture, we say each one teaches one. So that means that each person that gets that opportunity has also the opportunity to teach another person. So that's how it started back in 2013. I was houses. Fast forward to today, it's 2024. It's been about 10, 11 years doing the work and just figuring it out. So to me, Mo Fundamentals just means uh, being of service and being a conduit, you know, to make sure other foster youth come through and. Uh, don't have such a hard time. Um, but I'm so thankful and really feel in a place of mentorship to, to help out and support other foster youth artists because we have so much talent and I want to put out there that if you have just a little idea of something, that you just start that little idea, and all that little idea will eventually culminate into something big just like this event. So thank you all so much.